Hey there, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to take a look at how to fix a problem with your Windows date and or time changing and or wrong. There's quite a few steps here. Most of them are very, very simple. Let's start out with the most basic, and that is to right-click on your clock and choose Adjust Date and Time, or click on the clock and do Date and Time Settings. There's quite a few settings in here. In a perfect world, you want time automatically set, you want set time zone automatically set, and you want to make sure that your time zone is correct and if you have daylight savings time that it's turned on. So you'll notice when I turn this on, it blocks out the time zone. So if you uncheck set time zone automatically, you can pick your correct time zone if it's wrong. Once you have it, put that back to set time zone automatically, it's grayed out, but you can also sync now at any given point. So if your clock is wrong and syncing now, with a check mark to verify that it's done works, you're good to go. Rarely that easy, but that is the basics. So let's move forward. The guide you see in the background, as always, will be linked to in the video description. Check the Windows time service. Somewhat unlikely, but let's take a look. Windows key plus R, type in services.msc and press enter or click OK. So now we want to find Windows Time. Right here. You can double click it. Manual is actually okay, but it should be running. So depending on whoops, depending on what you're doing here, you could change it to automatic, but again, once again, we can come back to that. Manual should be fine. You also notice it's most important that it's running. If it's not running, you might click this drop down and switch it to automatic. I might come back to that later. And if it's not running, click start. And that should cover you just to make sure that your service is working correctly. And once again, go back to step one when you're done and check your clock there if the service wasn't working correctly. BIOS time. Can't do a lot with this. Every BIOS is different, so it's a little bit on you. You might have to reboot your computer or look up your computer. You may see something like this when your computer boots. So press delete, F2. It can be a lot of keys, usually one of the function keys or delete. What you're looking for is settings. And again, every BIOS is a little bit different. This is a picture of my last computer's BIOS. Right here, you can see there's a gear. So in this case, there's my clock. And there's my time. So if your date and your time is, is correct, you can just take off. You can always look even if you don't have a lot of experience. There's not too tough to find your way into the BIOS setup. We don't need it too often, but this is one of the places where you might. The BIOS battery. Now the BIOS battery is a little watch, like a, a watch battery. Sorry, a little watch. A little watch battery on your motherboard. So should be a small tab or clip on there. That would be this little piece of metal right here. See the little teeth holding that battery in? So you just take a little screwdriver and gently give it a little push. Unless you don't bite your fingernails like me, you could use your nail. Push that back and the battery will pop right up. Take note of the battery, which direction it reads. It's usually like this within the letters and the numbers on the front with a positive facing up, I'm sorry. So as you can see, a lot of times, actually CR2032 is probably one of the most common batteries. Now, if you have a laptop, I've taken laptops apart before. It's not that much more difficult. I'm just not a fan. Just desktops are a little easier. So I would tread a little more carefully with a laptop. They have a lot more screws. They come apart a little more difficult and they go back together a little more difficult. And if you're under warranty, you really, really don't want to take it apart. So you can get that battery at CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, just about anywhere. I'm in Florida. They sell them on every corner for, you know, you know, all right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty now. We can actually try and re-register the time service. So we're gonna do the command prompt or PowerShell. In this case, let's do Windows key plus X where I'm Windows 10 and do Windows PowerShell as admin. And just load this page up or if you wanna copy and paste, highlight, right click, copy. I'm okay with that too. Command prompt will not allow you to do that you'll get a succeeded message. Now we want to re-register it. We're going to do that by stopping it. Same thing, just do all three lines. 
while that's stopping, we can come over here and we're going to enter two more lines here. I better clarify that because the enter looks like part of the code. So we're just doing this part right here. I will fix that by the time you see this video. And one last time. Fun, right? I'm having a ball. Whew. All right, that's it. So once again, you want to go back now and do the same thing we discussed before and check your clock settings. God, this is boring. But what are you going to do? All right, here we go again. Tons of fun. You get to do that now a whole bunch more times. We're going to force it to sync. So it's very similar to this up here. Except in this case, we're just re-registering the DLL and the process. In this case, you're going to sync the time. So at this point in the video, we're six minutes in, so I'm going to kill it. So basically just come in here and repeat that and follow one, two, three, four, five. And again, come back in and check your date and time settings. So somewhere in here, I can almost guarantee you one of these five steps. If your clock is wrong, it's one of these five things. So I'm sure you'll get it. Leave a comment if I can help you any further. Down here in the bottom right, as always, is your little Major Geeks logo. And you click on that, and you automatically subscribe. We do appreciate all the new subscriptions from everybody and putting up with really relatively boring videos, six and a half minutes. So what are you going to do? We can't. It's hard to make the Windows clock exciting, kids. Hey, see ya.